everyone, welcome back to Security Academy. Today, we're going to be talking about the monoalphabetic substitution cipher. So the monoalphabetic substitution cipher is an encryption method. So if we're given a message M and a key K, we want to combine those in a way in order to create a ciphertext. But unlike the Caesar cipher where the key is an integer, and unlike the one-time pad in the Visioneer cipher where the key is string, for the monoalphabetic substitution cipher, the key K is a map that associates each letter in the plain text message M to a corresponding letter in the ciphertext C. Let's look at an example. So right here, this is a map, and we can see that it associates every letter in the plain text to a corresponding letter in the ciphertext. So the way we carry out our encryption is if we see the letter A in the message M, then we swap that with a B. And if we see a B in the plain text message, we swap that with H all the way down to Z. If we see instances of Z in the plain text message, we swap that with J. So let's do an example. Let M be Academy and let K be the map that was on the previous slide. So we see that the instances of A given the key should now map to B in ciphertext. And the instances of C in the plain text should map to I in the ciphertext. And then A will map to B again. And then D will map to D. E will map to F. M will map to D. And Y will map to G. So there it is. We found the ciphertext. Let's now take a look at decryption. So decryption is just undoing the encryption. So if we're given the ciphertext C and the key K, where again, the key is just map that associates each letter in M to a corresponding letter in C, the way that we're going to decrypt is going to look at letters in the ciphertext and now map those to letters in the plain text. So for example, if we see B in the ciphertext, that will correspond to A in the plain text. And if we see an H in the ciphertext, that will correspond to B in the plain text. So let's do an example. Let our ciphertext C be I R Y P F A. Let the key K be the map that's on the previous slide. So if we carry this out, we see that instances of I in the ciphertext should map to C in the plain text. And instances of R in the ciphertext should map to I in the plain text. Carrying this through, Y will map to P, P will map to H, F will map to E, and A will map to R. So, given the cipher and the map, we found our plain text message in its cipher. Thanks for watching this video on the model alphabetic substitution cipher. Now head back to the site and test yourself with a quiz. And until next time, this has been Security Academy.